All right, in this section, we're going to cover snapshots and specifically how to get your Wave Sound Grid plugins to follow along with your console snapshot recalls, right? So before we go there, I, I think it's probably worth taking just a second uh, to discuss snapshots in Venue and kind of do a really kind of high level overview of how it actually works so we can set the right expectation getting to the plugins, okay? So the first thing you need to understand about Venue snapshot architecture is that it works on a store all recall filtered process, okay? Meaning if I hit the store button, every time I hit the store button, it's going to store everything on the console in the currently loaded snapshot. And when I hit recall, I'm only gonna recall a filtered set of that store, meaning uh, particular channels or particular parameters, right? And that process of choosing what is gonna come up in that recall is called scoping the snapshot. All right, so let's move to the snapshot window and we'll take a look at how this impacts plugins and et cetera. All right, so we go to the snapshots window here and as you can see, uh, there are no snapshots created. We, we're gonna need to create a new snapshot to get the process underway, so let's do that. And as you can see, the window kind of jumps to life with a lot of red here. And red is the indicator of uh, something being scoped in this snapshot window. So as you can see here, when we create a new snapshot, all faders are scoped, and this is our primary snapshot, right? The first one we've created. All channels are scoped, meaning all input process or input channels and output channels. Uh, and only two of the parameters are scoped. So if we were to store this, let's go ahead and store it. And then we were to recall it, it would recall the existing settings where we see them uh, for faders and mutes. Even though there's EQ, dynamics, and all the other things in that, it would only recall the fader and the mutes, right? And we can add more things to that. If we wanted to recall EQ out of that or dynamics, we would just add it to the scope and that would be subject to the recall now. All right, so how does this impact plugins? Well, if you'll notice, there's a little gold plugins tab here. There's a couple of tabs here, one for MIDI and one for plugins. And this window, when that uh, tab is highlighted, shows you what plugins are added to the snapshot or in that snapshot. And as you can see, there are none in there right now. And that's kind of the point of this exercise is to, is to show you that the way you scope plugins is to add them to the snapshot. All right, so for the uh, sake of this exercise, I'm going to take all the scoping out right now. So I'm just going to go, there are no faders, no parameters scoped here, and we're going to add some plugins to this uh, snapshot. All right, so there's actually a little way to cover up the par uh, parameter scope there, and we're going to add some plugins here. And you can do this on a per plugin basis if you want. You know, you may not necessarily want all of your plugins to be recalling with every snapshot. So uh, in this case, though, we've only created four plugins uh, in the in this little session here. So I'm just gonna add them all. All right, so there's the four plugins that we've created. These are now added to this this snapshot here, which we're gonna go ahead and retitle just so we can keep track of things here. Song one. All right, so now when I recall that snapshot, it's gonna recall the settings that are stored uh, or that are on those plugins right now, right? So for instance, if I were to go to those plugins and make a change and then hit recall, you can see that the plugin comes back to where that stored data is, okay? So we, we've obviously created a song here. Maybe this is gonna be a music thing we're mixing. Uh, you know, maybe it's a set list of songs, whatever. And usually in, so, in a music mixing situation, uh, you know, you're gonna create one good snapshot, uh, get things kind of laid out, get things added to the snapshot that you want, and then you're gonna create duplicates of that and create derivatives of it as you move along into your set when you're creating your, all your snapshots. So in that situation, what you're gonna wanna do is choose duplicate, right? Not new, you're gonna wanna choose duplicate. And we're gonna make this song too and recall it. And as you can see, the, the plugins have come along with it. Uh, now it's probably worth mentioning at this point, we have plugins scoped here as well. Now, if you guys understand our parameter scoping area, as I roll my mouse over here, you can see there's some data down in the lower left-hand corner that describes what that scope does. I'm gonna roll it over plugins so we can read what happens down there. And it says, okay, plugins are scoped, so control settings and in-circuit state and routing for the selected plugins in the plugin list above. So that's the plugins in that particular window, okay? So uh, let's carry on. We'll duplicate out a couple more snapshots here. We'll, maybe we'll go for a four song set list. Nice short show for us today. 
Okay, and as you can see, all of those plugins are in all of those snapshots, right? Okay, so what happens if we want to create a new snapshot? Maybe we're, we're going to move uh, maybe to a different band and we're going to use snapshots to do that. Or maybe we're in a corporate event or something where the snapshots aren't necessarily going to be a derivative of each other. We're going to move to a completely new event. Well, in that situation, we would create a new snapshot. And the reason I bring this up is that you, oops, hang on, let me get that out of there. We would want, uh, we need to understand here is that uh, it doesn't carry the uh, plugins along with it. Even though the scope is still there, it doesn't have any plugins added to it, right? So be careful there. You know, make sure you want to create new or duplicate. You understand the differences in those two things, okay? So let's go back and let's talk about how we edit and kind of get things going in our plugin world here as well. So here we have song one. Uh, let's say I make an, a change to that plugin and I think maybe I'm mixing along in my song and I make that plugin change and I think, ooh, wow. Okay, well, I, I don't really want to store over where I'm at on the console right now, but I do want to save that plugin setting into this snapshot. How do I, how do I update this plugin in the snapshot? Well, there are a couple of different ways you can do it. One is you can do it right from this window by going over here where the red S is. And, and that's another indicator of scope there. That is telling you that this wave sound grid rack in slot one here is scoped into the current snapshot. So if I drop down the uh, menu here, I can say update the plugin in snapshot one. And if I do that, I've only updated that plugin setting. Actually, I should say that plugin rack setting for wave sound grid in the current snapshot. And this is an important distinction that we need to touch on right here is that when I update this slot for the snapshot, I'm updating all of these plugins in there, right? I can't do it on a per plugin basis here. It has to be the entire rack that gets updated in the snapshot, okay? So if you'll notice now, if I go through my snapshots and you can look down in the bottom uh, center of this screen to see which snapshot I'm on, we've stored that, uh, we've updated that plugin in snapshot one, snapshot two, three, and four are all of our previous settings, right? So we've just updated that and we didn't really have to store over anything on the console. We only updated the plugin. All right, so the next situation would be like, well, okay, what if I take that setting now and I think, okay, I've already kind of created a lot of my snapshots, but I really like this setting. I want to move this plugin setting to all the rest of the snapshots or maybe just a selected few snapshots. Well, it's a similar process, right? So if I like this setting and I want to put it, maybe I want to put this in snapshot three then I got to go back to the snapshots window and highlight snapshot three and one, go back and now update plugin in selected snapshots here, or I can go back here and go update plugin in selected snapshots here. Either way, it's the same move. It's just two different locations. So I'll do it here. And now if we go back to our plugins window and we are on our snapshot one, two, three, and four, right? So now we have that same setting there. If we want it to go everywhere, then we've got to actually just uh, select all of the snapshots we want it to go. And we go update plugin in selected snapshots, right? And now when we recall snapshots, notice they're all there in all four. All right, that's Wave Sound Grid plugins and snapshots. We'll move on to the next section.